Welcome back. You're watching News 22 Thursday. Where news matters. And this fundraiser not only supports the program, but also helps the students advance their careers. But with recent money struggles at NMSU and a new arts building on the way, more than ever students must raise money for new equipment. News 22's Marlene Barraza gives, an, gives us an inside look of the students' work you will be seeing this Monday at the jewelry sale. This will be the second time Kaylin Sanchez creates jewelry for the jewelry sale. It's a lot of work, but it's totally worth it. The students use any materials they want for their pieces. Yeah, the most difficult part is getting the initial ideas, but then once we all um, kind of get to play around and settle in what we're doing, it's, it's a really fast-paced environment after that. But they need a better place to do all this work. Their building doesn't meet their needs. Built as a gymnasium in 1938, D.W. Williams Hall houses both the Department of Arts and the University Art Gallery. In 2016, voters approved General Obligation Bond C, which allocated $22 million for the project. The new building is set to open in fall 2019. And although most of the new equipment and furniture is guaranteed when the new building opens, there is still worry about funding for new materials. Because of the budget cut, we have to generate their own money to keep updating for the current tools and sometimes it's just like, you know, placing, replacing as a missing scissors. Kayleen graduates this year and hopes this jewelry sale can help start her own career. All the profits that we get go to um, us getting our new equipment or getting some supplies for the students rather than the students having to get all of their supplies, which can get really expensive. I'm helping her. And Matoko wants this jewelry sale to alert the community of the talent and NMSU's jewelry and metalsmith department. Marlene Barraza, News 22. The jewelry sale is all day Monday at the Barnes & Noble bookstore on campus.